Hey guys, still there. After all these chapters, but we're not done yet because we're only done when I say we're done. We're gonna talk about outputting now. I mean, you got an idea what you wanna do. Think Stephen Covey here. Begin with the end in mind. As you're working on that image, where's it gonna go? So we're gonna talk about Photoshop output by format. You know, like JPEG for the internet, TIFF for this, EPS for that, why you use one format over another. Then we're going to look at creating what's called a soft proof in something called gamut warning. If you work in a four color press, you have a problem. The colors you see on your monitor are richly saturated in RGB additive. They don't necessarily translate over to CMYK subtractive on a press. Photoshop has a little button you can push and it will tell you all the colors that ain't going to make it. So we'll talk about that. We're going to talk about signing color profiles to an image. And that just means, hey, here I am and this is what I want to look like when you print me. We're going to look at a feature that actually came out in Photoshop 5 called Zoomify, and it's a way to kind of, oh, I don't know, creatively put your images on the internet. And then we are going to look at Save for Web, which is a great way for prepping images for not just the web, but for even things like oh, PowerPoint. That and more in this chapter, coming up next.